a lot of you guys have told me that when you enter pip commands like this, you get this error that says pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. Now this happens for one of two reasons. The first is pip is not installed. The second is even if the pip is installed, you have not added pip to path environment variable. So what that means is when I type pip, Windows will look in the path environment variable to find which program or which script to execute. But since it is not added, Windows does not know what to do. So now in this video, we will solve the second one. That is you have pip installed, but it's not, it is not added to path. If you don't have pip installed, you can check the link in the description below. It will show you how you can install pip. Okay, now to know where pip is installed, you can enter this command, python m and site. Hit enter and you will have a lot of sites here. Now, any Python module should be installed in this directory, okay? User site. But here I'm seeing does not exist. So it means that our pip should be installed in this directory, okay? Now, another trick is you just, instead of site, you enter anything here that does not exist, right? So Python will give you an error that says, I searched for this module here, but I could not find this module. So what you can do is, this is the path where your files are most likely installed. So just copy this, okay? And go to your Explorer. Again, a shortcut to open Explorer is Windows NE. Press your Windows E together, Explorer will open. Click here in the address bar and paste the path. Hit enter and you are now here. Now go inside scripts and here you will see pip or any other module that you have installed. Now just copy this path. Press your Windows key, type environment variable. Click on this edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables. Here you will see path, just double click on it. Now double click on this empty row at the end. Paste it, click on OK, click on OK again, click on OK again, and now let's close this terminal or command prompt and open command prompt again. And now let's type pip double dash version to see if it works. And as you know, as you can see, it works now, and we have pip 25.2 installed. And this is how you can fix a pip not found issue. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.